Hi everyone, welcome to The Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for the speaker card for the week ahead. This is timeless, so whenever you're watching this, this is for the upcoming week. You have four piles to choose from. This is associated with water, fire, earth, and air. Let me show you the cards. You can choose upon um, your sun sign. This is the council. We're going to channel also an ancestor message. For the fire element, we have the heart of sky. For the earth element, the tree of life. And for the air element, we have the many paths. All right, so one, two, three, four. Make your choice and please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Let's get to the message. Pile number one, in the water element. So it could be your sun sign or you could have chosen this pile just by intuition, the council. This is for your week ahead. Let's see what else we have. Journey. Caring connections. Wave of power. Wow, this is <laughs> an exciting week ahead. Let me see if I can put this in ways that you can, in waves, in ways, in waves, that you can see this. Telepathy. Wow, a lot of heart. I really wanted to put those. Let me see. Yes, much better. Yep. And let's see what we have here. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Whew. All right, pile number one or water signs, water element. This week ahead, you're definitely embarking on a new phase of your journey. There's something that has shifted for you. Maybe you've done some reviewing because this type of counsel, this card speaks of review, speaks of looking back at uh, how far we've come. And from that point, um, moving on towards a greater adventure. I feel that this week you're going to probably meet greater type of connections, whether it's romantic or just new friendships, new collaborations. Just there's a overall sense that whatever you've been working on is leading you to a different level of this journey. You're meeting people that are attracted by your power, the power from all that you've learned from, like I like to use this expression, turning your scars into stars. There's something very attractive, very telepathic that is going to happen. You're going to call in more of your soul family, whether it's romantic connections, whether it is just connection for you to go on this higher level of ascension. You can expect this week also uh, windfalls of money, a sense of more security, stability. With all those crystals everywhere for you, I, I really feel that there's, um, there's a sense of you using multi facets of yourself. As if you have also reviewed and maybe draw back a lot of your soul fragments, past lifetimes. So you have a lot of skills to offer. And from those skills, this is where you're going to see more increase in your wealth, your health, your energy, your stability, everything that's material is going to come to a climax. Okay, there's a lot of, with this crystal in the center connected to the crown, this feels also very um, much like the, the light of, you ascending there's a connection to 
the memories from past life, from your experience. And I love this for you for this week because it means that you are really using your skills. You're really using your wisdom, your experiences. And this is going to be very attractive to others because it's going to give you a surge of power. And this surge of power is going to attract mind-like people. And that's where you're going to find your joy, your abundance, and you're going to give that back in return. Now let's pull some more cards as far as further messages. Um, the ancestors here are indicating to you that you've done a lot of this reviewing and drawing back your power, calling back those soul fragments to you. And that's great because it's serving you and it's serving others. And that's exactly where we want to head in terms of human evolution. We have the four of air, the four of swords that came up. It's indicating to you to watch also for this week, even though there's a lot of excitement to also nurture your rest. Make sure that your week ahead has self-care planned for it, that you don't overload your schedule. Trust that people that need you, your service, or, you know, even at work that when you are all refreshed, you can actually serve in greater ways, more efficiently, optimally. I really feel that's important. Some of you, if you are YouTube members of my channel, I do have a nervous system regeneration. I use this for power naps. So maybe for some of you, um, especially with the water element, you know, there's a lot of higher sensitivity. So you want to make sure that you're not also absorbing too much of your partner's energy, your family, your friends or clients, and make sure that you always restore uh, your own energy field. Okay, some of you, you know, also, if you don't have access to that, I do have an aura cleanser and strengthener. I love this because I used to use this separately and I'm using uh, two different mantras and certain frequencies that max out this um, type of uh, almost like a laundry, like a cycle. It really helps you do the same as, our, as cleansing and making sure it's strengthened and you hold that light. Okay, you're able to hold that light, hold that light of power, light. You have a lot of light uh, coming up this week. Wow, a lot of success, a lot of exposure. Okay, so that makes even more sense. For this week ahead, you might be exposed a lot. Uh, you might be also sensitive to the collective, whatever is going on in the world. So you want to make sure that you refresh your senses, you refresh your ability to um, process this type of energy optimally. Okay? Especially, I feel this is... Okay, those cards are coming in that windfall, okay? The light that you emanate from all these soul fragments, actually, this is also a frequency. If you are watching this, that could be a frequency you want to use. Um, that's soul fragments retrieval. This is going to help you channel even more light, but you want to make sure that through this process, you are allowing yourself to have rest in solitude, I'm hearing. Your journey this week is going to really, uh, this is like a, almost like a, a, a jump in between places where you were maybe last week and where you're going to be at the end of this week. There's going to be more power. There's going to be more exposure to others, um, connections that are coming that are more uh, soul family based that are more telepathic, people that are vibrating at the same frequency. The six of water, probably uh, also um, people from past lives, people that may have signed up for the same mission, for the same type of um, 
lessons. And what I mean by this, okay, when I do personal um, astrology reading, especially in terms of um, birth charts, let me just back up so you can see the whole spectrum here. Um, I always notice that people coming to me, they have similar placement. That means that I may have my son where someone has their Jupiter or they may have their, you know, Saturn or whatever. And having the sun, it shines the light on a certain placement. Now, you don't have to share just the sun, but all of this is that the lessons that you learn from certain angles of the zodiac, angles of the zodiac are perspective of a certain experience of life. So it is normal that we attract each other because we share a certain knowledge, a certain path, a certain wisdom that brings us together to ultimately reconcile a lot and integrate a lot of this wisdom. So let's sum up in terms of frequencies. If you are just watching this on YouTube, Aura Cleanser and Strengthener and Soul Retriever, it's going to help you bring this energy forward for this week. If you have access to the YouTube membership, then you have the nervous system regeneration and you can use the inner wisdom activation. That's all I have for this week ahead. This is just magnificent. I love this energy for you. Water signs or pile number one. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. And remember to like those videos and check out the description box of the video if you need some personal guidance. I have always some promotions going on. So check that out. Namaste. Pile number two or fire signs. Let's see what you have for this week ahead. So if you choose this according to your sun sign or your intuition, you have the heart of sky. Now, this is really speaking about source energy. This is life. This is creation. This is universal uh, flow. Let's see what else we have. Strategy. Mm. Men holding a coin. Let's see if I can just give you a little bit there. Yep. Sanctuary. Concomacy. Seashell divination. Interesting. And the five of cups. So if you're watching this, and whenever you're watching this, this week ahead, you are receiving more of the inspiration from source. There's some strong activation that is going on. It might feel like a rebirth. It might feel like you have to let go of some things, but this is a support. There's like this cup this energy flow that is forcing you towards a certain direction, a certain inspiration. An inspiration that invites you to maybe take down some notes. Maybe take down, you know, some notes towards what the downloads you're receiving, the visions, the things that you want to achieve. But this is going to require of you to be in a place of solitude, to make sure that the week ahead, you have planned for yourself some really nice self-care. I would say especially around the water element, baths are really amazing. In terms of cleansing your frequency, there might be some shift. Okay, You might be in a transitional time where the universe is you know, letting some things from the past let go and wash over you so you can be reborn, just almost like a baptism. This is interesting. Maybe some of you, you have a baptism to attend or a child to baptize. But this is the, um, the spirit of what I'm seeing. This is a week where you're being reborn. You're being granted the, the, the flow of source to go through you inspire you with new downloads with new perception 
And this is going to help you strategize for your wealth, for your abundance, for your stability, your security. So be also ready to, I, I feel this is a flow. This is, like, this is almost like the divine intervention. It's like the cycle of the flow of creation. And then it's moving more into that downloading, that channeling that's more feminine, and then moving on um, to more of the masculine. When I was ch saying about the feminine, I saw on this part of the video, the 333. So take down this note as far as synchronicity. When you're going to see 333 this week, this is, oh wow. This is very much linked to Christ consciousness. Wow, you guys, I love this. I love this because it really feels like um, some type of, uh, of ascension process this week. You know, this is timeless. So whenever you're watching this, you're being upgraded. You're being upgraded. And I feel with this seashell divination, the more you spend time, you know, self-caring, but also observing nature, observing the sacred geometry of what surrounds you, it's going to be highly beneficial. Okay. Now, let me just give you some insights as far as frequencies because I'm feeling it strongly. I would suggest for the ones that just have access to the collective uh, channel, the aura strengthener and cleanser and the soul fragments retrieval, okay? Because there's a lot of light here that wants to come through. If you have access to the YouTube membership, go and check out the... Um, 33 vertebrae activation and the void. And I'm saying this because the void, the way that I engineer the sound, this is a pattern that creates a seashell. So this is a great frequency for rebirth, okay? Some of you, if you are YouTube premium members, you're paying for uh, skipping the ads, you have a free month available to you. All right, let's move on with the tarot cards. Let's see what else wants to come forward for this week of rebirth, of ascension, of more uh, inspiration from divine inspiration, divine guidance, divine ideas uh, that are coming forward for you. Let's see. So fire element, fire signs, or just pile number two. What else do we want to hear about? Especially here, this is an, the ancestors saying, let the flow of the universe guide you. Let the flow of creation, because you are part of it, guide you through this process. Oh, wow, we have the emperor. I always associate the emperor card with the God, the God self. Oh, wow. I feel like I said the key word. This process is allowing you to embody more of your authentic self, is allowing you to channel more of the higher self, making space for it. All right, let me back you up a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Let's see what else. The two of air, the two of swords. It seems that if you have certain choices this week, to make, I would suggest to postpone. Why? Because your highest decisions are going to come from a place of flow, of ease. So if the decision making is causing stress, postpone until you are in a place where you feel divinely guided. This is what the ancestors want to share with you. You're meant to really feel with all your heart and soul, your direction, your ideas, your inspiration, your flow. Let God, the source, the universe support you in making those decisions, especially this week. Wow. Oh, I got chills with this card. Ooh. Ooh. This feels so abundant with the number eight. You have a lot of lion energy. So some of you might be a Leo 
a sign so again a confirmation for the fire element there is something as far as divine fire that's going to really light you up i feel like this uh, a very strong activation for the upcoming week that's all i have for you i just feel that it's just so sacred so amazing take the space for it take the space and time to journal to allow this to come to life okay so remember in terms of frequencies if you need to go back i already give you the, <laughs> the vibrational medicine prescription that's what I, I tell my clients you know i like music as a sound prescription it helps you attune to this divine transformation divine illumination divine rebirth for you pile number two that's all i'm sending you many blessings much love and light and please don't forget to like those videos it supports the channel to grow and you can also check out the description box i always have some promotions ongoing thank you so very much namaste pile number three or the earth element Let's see what we have for this week ahead and also as a message from the ancestors. You have the tree of life. Beautiful energy. Yes. The healer of the ages. The door to personal healing and happiness. The magic of the Kohelen Druid. <laughs> I hope I said that right. The soul cage. And the three of pentacles. Okay. All right. So. This week ahead, earth element, earth signs, or just pile number three, expect a lot of healing to be done. Wholeness, oneness. There's something about, especially with this secrecy, wary, caution, and the healer of the ages. Maybe something such as the emotions of guilt, of shame, of things that you may have gone through in the dark, that you're healing, that you're healing especially with the heart. You're bringing more self-love. You're receiving also more love because of the tree of life, this, this connection between heaven and earth, this connection that you are here to bridge the gap between this both. And also with that three of pentacles, you see this very strong energy rod, this light. There was a lot of light so far in all the piles, a lot of activation. For you, I feel, especially with this, there's a lot of green, uh, a lot of healing, door to personal healing and happiness with the soul cage. There's... But when I did this, I saw how much light was being brought on a situation. So maybe some of you, I want to mention it because I feel it. If you've gone through maybe a phase of depression, you know, there's a lot of light that is coming up this week. There's a lot of transition energy that is occurring with the support of the divine, with the support of also... Um, the life that you intend and to manifest. You know, life supports life. And it wants almost like to uh, help you being reborn. I want to mention it because I'm feeling this. Eat more greens. <laughs> I'm saying it. Eat more greens. Go more into nature. Surround yourself also with more colors. Um... You know, um, the sunlight as much as you can. I feel this is part of this uh, weak prescription in terms of energy, helping you bring more light. 
I'm already feeling as a frequency prescription. You know, some of you, you know the channel. And if you don't, I like to give you some ways to uh, vibrationally attune uh, to this message. I really feel the rainbow bridge on this one. Um, the mantra that I'm using is one of the expression of um, the name of God, who, okay, which I love this frequency. It's so calming. Um, there's this phase from coming from depression to a more calm, flowy state of hope, happiness, feeling that we have come a long way. So a lot of shedding from the old is happening through this week for you, earth signs, or just pile number three if you were guided to this. Let's channel some more messages for you. Let's see what we have. Whoop. Okay. Six of water. Could have been things from your past as far as childhood conditioning, especially in terms of the secrets, maybe things that happened to you that were, you know, taboo, or there's something about taboo, things are taboo, we shouldn't talk about this, people shouldn't know about this, but look at this, remember this energy here from the ancestors is saying that you came here to transcend duality, you came here also to partner up with the universe, so you can bridge that gap in that third dimension, you know, expression of the reality, and you might have been feeling stuck in two, two places. That might be how you start the week, being caught into the old version of yourself. But let's see how things are evolving for you. So we have patience. Be patient with yourself. I feel this card was coming with the patience. The Ten of Fire. You're you're in the process of still burning away some of the old. There's a lot of, I don't know what's going to be in the astrology cosmic dance for the upcoming week when I'm channeling this, because anyway, it's timeless. But whenever you're watching this and it resonates, there's something about a cycle, a cycle that is ending for you. A cycle where you're literally bringing a lot of your wisdom from the past into resolution. Burning away. For some of you, I'm feeling the bridge again. Maybe some of you, there's certain relationship that you need <laughs> to, to let go of. Okay? Um, and sometimes it could be the way you relate to the old self, the way you retell yourself certain stories, okay? Let's see what else for this one. I feel this is in the middle. Page of Earth, a new beginning with a new offer. Be, be keenly attuned to your telepathic senses. There's some information coming through this process, new ideas. I feel called to look for you at the guidance for this tree of life. This is number 58. 58 in the angles of the zodiac is about focus. Where focus goes, energy flows. Maybe, ah, maybe that's what it's saying to you. If you've been feeling stuck into the past and what wants to be manifested, make sure you focus more on where you want to go. Put more of that energy into it. The process of letting go, the shame, the guilt, the conditioning from childhood, you've already put a lot of effort into it. I really feel this. So you're ready to really emerge from that dark place into this new opening, this new gateway. But you're going to want to trust your senses. You're going to want to trust what's subtle. All right, let's read this. Okay. The tree of life is a sacred symbol throughout the Americas. Its deep roots reach into the lower world, 
the unconscious, while its branches reach to the heavens, the source of destiny. To be whole in your life's journey, it is important to have deep roots and high branches. A tall tree with shallow roots falls in the first wind, but a tree with deep roots can weather any storm. So I like this. I like this um, for you because we've talked about the greens. I would prescribe with the Rainbow Bridge as much as you can to do this out in nature. Get the support of the divine sacred geometry and flow of everything that surrounds you. If you have access to the YouTube membership, then I would suggest to even add the void. There is this energy of rebirth, of closing chap chapters that could be um, supportive. If you're still struggling with ending certain cycles, removing X's and hexes, okay, that could be part of this. If you are a YouTube member, uh, as far as the premium and you can skip the ads, you are being offered a free month. Okay, some of you, this is a reminder. There's something that you need to remember. Maybe it's a reminder of this type of routine to go outside in nature more, to support yourself with frequencies, to support yourself with being keenly uh, attuned to the guidance of the divine, but also rooted on this earth. Because there's an emergence, there's an emergence of something greater, a new timeline, a new way of being, a new way of creating, okay? That's what I have for you, pile number three or the earth element. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. And please remember to like this video. It supports the channel to grow and check out the description box. I have always some promotions ongoing. Namaste. Pile number four or the air element. So if you are an air sun sign, this could be for you or your intuition guided you to this message. So first we start with the many paths. I wouldn't be surprised if you're watching this and you pick this. There could be some choices ahead. There could be a new direction or there could be a merge being at a crossroad here. This is also an ancestor message, and this is about all paths leading you to spirit. All paths are going to lead you to your spiritual awakening. But are you going to want to choose a path that is with ease, with flow, following what is meant for you, or trying to control, resist, going through more contrast? So let's see what... Um, this week ahead is inviting you to um, pay attention to in order to be on the highest path for you, especially if there's many choices open at this time. Storm warning. Okay. There could have been a lot going on for you, you know, coming into this week. This is a timeless reading. So whatever you're watching this, this is for the upcoming week. Don't be scared about this um, card. You know, I actually enjoy this card because I always feel like it's a cleanse. It's a very strong cleanse. I don't know if some of you have ever felt that from when you have like a storm and how the air after the storm just feels so much lighter, refreshed. And there's something about, you know, uh, almost like having so many options and so many things that have been happening in your life and this cleanse. This cleanse happening for this week. Action. It came in the reverse, but, you know, we're going to see how that applies. We're going to put it upright. We have here an indication of duality. And I like that we have the yang moving forward, the light, maybe moving away from the darkness, a new phase ahead, a new path ahead from the many paths that you've traveled, a new direction. We have the mirror, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. 
Well, I, I, I have to mention it because this is how I call the Know Thyself readings. This is my birth chart readings, and currently they're on promotion. I There's something about timelines and the things that you came here to learn. The number 21 is an angle of the zodiac that speaks of higher learning. This is the degrees of cancer. Some of you, if you may have like a cancer placement that's even stronger for you. Something about healing your heart. Some of the paths that you had to travel, they really may have hurt you in the past and now you're able to kind of uh, see things from a greater perspective, seeing how it was helping you heal, helping you understand who you were, seeing your true beauty, air, Wow, what a confirmation for air signs. Breathing deep, entering into life. Exchanging of life, bringing energies. Um, the air element in the natal chart is the rising sign. This is associated with the rising sign. So some of you, if you're watching this, you picked it by intuition or your uh, sun sign, go and check out your rising sign and look at the message. So for example, if you are a fire a rising, so maybe you're a Leo rising, okay? Maybe you're a Gemini sun with a Leo rising, then go and check out the fire element guidance. Because remember, there's many paths and there might be some instruction on what's coming in greater ways because you're entering something new, because you've been able to work with the reflection of others to also find yourself in deeper ways, manifest more of your frequency. And the actions are going to come as you progress through that change. Definitely there's a change in you. I wouldn't be surprised for this week ahead, pile number four air signs, that people are going to tell you that you've changed. Maybe you're glowing more. Maybe there's something different. People can pin down what is it about you that has changed. But it's because you're being called on a higher timeline, on a different timeline. But remember, you have a choice. This is free will. So if you still want to learn through contrast or through controlling, resisting, or just going through life with the flow and support of the universe, this is up to you. You have that choice. But I really feel that some of you have just come in a, a level of self-mastery, self-awareness at least, that brings more consciousness. And consciousness is the true healer. Last card. Oh, yeah. Three of Pentacles. This is your partnership with the divine. Look at how much light is entering in your life. Now, this is interesting. I think if I'm not mistaken, this was in the earth also element so we have here some invitation to partner up in greater ways with the divine because when we do this we're able to find the path that aligns with spirit all paths are going to lead you there but from what place do you want to get there let me back it up a little bit. We're going to pull some tarot cards to get deeper messages for this week. Whoop. Oh, wow. This <laughs> is fast. Oh, my Lord. Three of Wands. Look at you embarking on this new journey. Okay, if, if This would indicate, especially how everything ripples down here. Three, three could be a strong activation also for you. That you have traveled many lives, many paths, and you're reaching some type of like culmination, some type of apex. Some of you, you may have in your birth chart some type of geometry, and I would say, because I used apex, look at if you have a yod, Y-O-D. This is two quincunks, this two green dotted line, and a sextile at the base, and it creates a very sharp triangle. Okay, this points into a direction. It's called the finger of God for that reason. It tells you this is important. There's something in your chart that is important, but there's also something from the past and all your past lives that are really coming into uh, this new timeline. Yeah, 
Let me see what else. Six of water. I, I can't remember how many. I think, I think water and earth had this. It's been very popular for this week ahead as far as like receiving a lot of light from the divine, a lot of divine intervention, flow, trusting, surrendering, but also moving on from a place of the past towards a greater future. You see here, um, make sure that you're taking the highest lessons with you in terms of your past. Move away from the old conditionings. With this lotus flowers and even the pearls. I've never seen the white pearls. I don't know how I've missed the white pearls before. Like Audrey, what was going on? And even the fact that she has a lotus. Lotus, pearls, 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 lotuses. I, what was I looking at all <laughs> this time? Oh, this is interesting. Because it's giving me an insight for you. It's almost like before you may have been focused on the outside more on others and that shifted obviously how you're going to manifest different experiences but now you're going more within you're looking more within knowing thyself learning about yourself so you understand more how things have manifested through uh whatever you used to focus on mm -hmm. and patience here I like this patience with the air and the action. I think this was also for the fire uh, pile where... Fire or even earth? I'm sorry, don't quote me on this. Um, but I really feel that because there's a transformation ongoing here for this week, that you want to take the time that you need to take to really feel that you want that next step okay so it means like don't make decision based on feeling pressured you want to make decision based out of really true alignment with source and that usually resonates with a f yeah you know that's that's it that's it so this week it doesn't feel like the it moment is there but the transformation that gets you to almost like that hit factor you're gonna get it you're gonna there's something that's gonna click this week there's something that's gonna click maybe from the past of your uh maybe some of you had dramatic relationships you know i'm seeing also this couple you know should i stay should i go should i go back what should i should i text let the divine guide you this week be patient don't act you're going to have that aha moment that's coming through. Let's okay. talk about frequency healing. For this higher path to come forward, I would suggest working with the small intestine frequency. This allows more joy, more passion. This is going to give you that inner fire that helps you know the time when to move forward and it's going to support that hit moment. If you are a YouTube member, I would suggest also the 33 uh, vertebrae frequency. If you are a YouTube premium member, you have access to a free month to my memberships. That's what I have for you, pile number four. I trust this has supported you. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow and you can check out the description box as well for my ongoing promotions. I always have something. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Namaste.